A sundial operates on a simple principle. It uses the position of the sun to indicate the time. Here's how it works. Nomen. The most essential part of a sundial is the gnomon, which is a thin rod-like structure that casts a shadow onto the dial's surface. The gnomon is typically positioned so that it points towards the North Pole in the Northern Hemisphere or towards the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere. The angle of the gnomon is also important. It needs to be tilted at an angle equal to the latitude of the location where the sundial is situated. Dial. The dial of the sundial is the surface on which the shadow is cast. This surface is typically marked with lines or numbers to indicate the hours of the day. These markings are calibrated based on the angle and position of the gnomon. Sun's movement as the Earth rotates on its axis throughout the day, the position of the sun in the sky changes. The gnomon casts a shadow onto the dial, and this shadow moves as the sun travels across the sky. Time reading, by observing where the shadow falls on the dial, one can determine the time of day. The position of the shadow relative to the markings on the dial corresponds to different times. However, there are a few important things to note about sundials. Accuracy. Sundials are not as accurate as modern timekeeping devices like clocks and watches. They rely on the sun's position so they cannot be used at night or on cloudy days. Correction. Because the Earth's orbit around the Sun is not a perfect circle, and its axis is tilted, the position of the Sun in the sky changes slightly throughout the year. This means that sundials may need adjustment or correction to account for these variations. Local time. Sundials typically measure local solar time, which can differ from the standard time used in a given time zone. Overall, sundials are fascinating devices that have been used for centuries to track the passage of time using nothing more than the sun's natural movement across the sky.